police called me, it was 12.30 last night, to come over that the bears had broken into the house and that they were already, uh, they were already down. So I came over and assessed the damage to the door and then, I mean, they had, uh, they had something to eat when they were inside and then they, I guess, told them they had a dump there, but, you know, I mean, basically there was minimal damage other than the door that, you know, I was lucky. I was really lucky. I was at another, I own another place, so I was oh. at my other place. There's uh, another family? There's another family of bears, yeah. She has three cubs. Though. She has three cubs. Yeah. And this one had one? One. One cub? Yeah. I got out of here, it was, what, 2.30 in the morning. Picked up my guy and got a door. Well, it was bad last year. This is the worst I've ever seen. There are people that get in their cars and follow the bears, blowing the horns, trying to get them back into the bush. I was at my son's house in the backyard yeah. Sunday night. You could hear people all up and down the street using clappers, horns, yelling to get the bears away from, from them. And we all feel badly for the bears because they're hungry and they're just looking for food. We're smart enough that we keep our gar uh, garages, our stuff in the garage. There's no bird feeders out. There's. Yeah. I had a crabapple tree that I cut down because there was a bear there. It's down. Yeah. What else do we do?